How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be debuting the brand new 99 overall Jackie Robinson as well as 99 overall MVP Ernie Banks. So this is going to be the lineup. I'll go ahead and hide the face cam so you can take a look at the new PCI feedback at the most recent uh, hitting patch as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into this. So we'll st be starting off with the game of ranked seasons. And I will also have a few viewer games included in this video as well. Just some highlights from the live stream. Here we're facing Corey Kluber, the 99 overall version. And I faced this card quite a few times. I feel pretty comfortable going up against him. Uh, I thought about trying to extend Mickey Mantle to third base there. Good thing I didn't. And good thing he did not round second base because... I would have been out. Anyway, uh, Ryan Sandberg leading off this game with a nice hit right to Mickey Mantle. I know that this guy is going to hit the ball. I could tell that based on the first few swings of him facing Hal Newhauser. So we do have to keep that in mind here. Ernie Banks in his first at-bat of ranked seasons gets a knock. If you notice, I do have uh, some batting averages with some of these cards because I'm kind of uploading these games out of order. I started off a little bit slow with both of these guys, Jackie Robinson and Ernie Banks, but hopefully we can do a little bit better with them in this game of ranked seasons. So to start it off, he ended up walking Craig Biggio to load the bases up. I brought in Cody Bellinger as a pinch hitter, ended up uh, popping up with Jackie Robinson in his first at bat in this game struck out or popped up with Cody Bellinger as well. And then Pablo Sanchez clutches up as the leadoff hitter with a double into the gap. That's going to allow us to score four runs in this inning. But I did pinch hit for my pitcher. So we will have to go to a different pitcher in this game. I'm going to bring in Kluber myself. Here in the next at-bat for Ernie Banks, he is getting a very early hit, almost at the earliest point of contact with that timing window. But it's down the line for a knock. Now we have Jackie Robinson up, and he is smashing that cutter over the middle of the plate. Cutter right down the middle. I wasn't even really on it with the PCI, but because that pitch was more down the middle of the plate, we square it up and send it out for a two-run shot. Uh, later in the same inning, top of the third, we do have a chance to kind of break this game open. And we got a little bit under that one. I thought that was a perfect swing with Pablo Sanchez, but... As you can tell from the feedback, slightly late. Here the opponent gets rewarded with a, a pretty similar swing to the one with Pablo. Just this one goes out, I would say. A little bit late. He hits it the other way. Shorter part of the ballpark. Anyway, Ernie Banks in his third at-bat. He's now 3-for-3 three three in this game. Here's a no-doubter on a perfect, perfect fly ball. No-doubt home run from Ernie Banks. That card has been... Uh, Pretty good. He's stepping up for me in this debut game. A nice home run. Reggie Jackson also goes deep. The very next batter. So top of the fifth inning, we score a couple of runs here. I'm looking to extend this inning with uh, Jackie Robinson. Here he's batting in the seventh spot. Uh, just bottom of the order. Got a couple guys that hit pretty similar down there. Jackie Robinson and Craig Biggio. That's probably where I'm going to keep them. Uh, maybe move Jackie up to the number two spot in the order, depending on how well I get the bat going with him. But here I'm trying to steal third. A 2-0 count. I'm trying to steal third. It might have been a 1-0 count. Now it's a 2-0. But uh, we do take third. And that was it for this guy. He ends up quitting out. I was trying to get in scoring position right there. Trying to uh, at least score on the sack fly. Test out the speed on Jackie Robinson. So we do end up winning the game of ranked seasons. It was a pretty quick one. So we will have a few games of viewer games in this uh in this video right here so this time i'll be using zach granke we're facing Corey kluber once again and ball legend also has jackie robinson this is actually his first at bat with him or he's also trying him out for the first time doesn't have any hits with him yet and he pops this one up i know that a lot of people are going to throw jackie robinson inside he does have a pretty quick swing but that's kind of the way a lot of people have attacked jackie robinson especially righty on righty they will just throw up and in fastballs and hope that you kind of jam yourself and it's very easy to do so but that's the same type of way that people will pitch to uh, Craig Biggio Jackie Robinson sometimes Buster Posey so you kind of have to go into that with that mindset sometimes for me hitting righty on righty I do have a tougher time here's a good example of a hittable pitch I mean a change up on the inside corner this was actually my first at bat with Jackie in general and uh, same thing here with Ernie Banks. But I just did not quite pull the ball well. In this one, I was a little bit too early. Didn't didn't quite go the other way with it. So just uh, a couple good swings to start it off. Good timing anyway. 
just did not really get the PCI on the baseball to fully square it up. Did not uh, hit it where it's pitched at all, really, in that sense. But we're also going to be using Araldus Chapman. This is also going to be Araldus Chapman's, I guess it's his debut, but I would like to save the debut video for a couple games of ranked seasons with Araldus Chapman and combine the gameplay. Um, he is a very good pitcher. I think he's the best relief pitcher in the entire game. His stats are unbelievable. He maxes out at uh, 102 miles an hour with 125 hits in K per nine. Uh, in this game specifically, I'm also trying out Ken Griffey Sr. I unlocked this card yesterday and he's not very good. I, I want to say that. I don't think that he's going to be usable in uh, online ranked seasons. I just don't really like his swing. I'd rather use Videl Brujan, who kind of has the same hitting attributes or uh, around the same hitting attributes as that Ken Griffey Sr. He's also a switch hitter with more speed and better defense. So uh, I just like to kind of compare some new guys that I get to players that I might already have. But here, Ernie Banks uh, extends the inning, hits a double off the wall for Mickey Mantle to hit a walk-off. We are playing uh, viewer games. So these are three inning games on Hall of Fame difficulty. And if we do go into an extra inning, or if it's tied after three innings, we'll play one extra inning and then call it a friendly quit after that. So we are going up against Ball Legend in the first game, Steve in the second game here. And these are all guys that are uh, big time supporters of the Twitch stream. They're always in there entering for these viewer games. And I have a lot of fun playing some of these games. I noticed that the ball wasn't necessarily carrying for anyone really in these viewer games for the most part. I thought that this one was going to be sent out. I thought I got that one. We're also using a different creative player. We're not using the shortstop one. We're using the uh, catcher, so he has a little bit less power, but better all-around stats for the catcher position, of course. But uh, I think that uh, the best creative player that I have is the shortstop, so I'll probably end up selling Ernie Banks. Uh, not that he's a bad card. I think he's a good card. I just don't necessarily think that I need to keep him on my team because I do have my creative player. If you're not rocking a creative player, if you uh, just like Ernie Banks in general, definitely an amazing card so in that last one not too much action just had like one solo shot or one two run homer there with chipper jones and that was kind of the difference in that last game so here we have jackie robinson up once again and i was uh kind of struggling with him to start it off like i mentioned in the beginning of the video this was actually his first base hit but he did really well in that first game of ranked season so i wanted to upload the stuff a little bit out of order simply because uh, i just wanted to provide some action throughout the entire video some action with some of these brand new cards trying out some of these guys so that way you can get a good glimpse of how they play so here we're also trying to steal another bag with jackie robinson after he gets on base try and take second i know it's a viewer game but uh just because it is jackie robinson i'm trying to steal if it was anyone else i'm not really looking to steal but here we get a perfect perfect ground ball and ernie Banks still gets thrown out he bobbles it and still gets thrown out so that is the one downside for that Ernie Banks card, if you are using him at shortstop, if you're using him at third base, he just doesn't have a lot of speed. And that's one of the reasons why I like using Jackie Robinson, Craig Biggio. And that's why I'm kind of trying to use a different guy behind the plate rather than uh, Buster Posey. I just want more speed out there in my lineup. I really do feel that it helps a lot on defense and just moving around on the bases, uh, taking the extra base, stealing, being aggressive. Uh, but anyway, this game is pretty good. We're going up against Mr. Mayhem. Of course, you can see by his PSN. But uh, uh, once again, another game, no no runs scored. We really don't even have any hits yet in this one. So uh, we do have you know some interesting games played in the viewer games, but we're using Araldus Chapman. I wanted to focus on uh, showing you guys a little bit of a sequence here. It wasn't three pitches in a row. We did have... A pitch that was fouled off in the middle there, but that Araldus Chapman has amazing attributes. He really dots up the fastball, the sinker, the slider. The other two pitches he doesn't have the best control on, but they're pretty much right around the same control attributes as some of his best pitches on the live series. So this Araldus Chapman is a big time upgrade from the live series. I tweeted out the individual pitch attributes on these cards, and that's available on Twitter. It's also available on Daddy Leagues. I'll link that in the comment section down below. But take a look at the greatest play I have ever seen in MLB The Show 20. This, without a doubt, saved the game, number one, because we're in extra innings of a viewer game. Also, 
Cody Bellinger dives face first into the wall to make this grab. Take a look at this play in slow motion. I slowed it down to about one fourth of the speed of the actual game. And he launches himself right into the fence and makes this play. That would have saved the go ahead run. I mean, obviously, he's the home team. He's a big White Sox fan, and we ended up tying that game. So it did save the game. I had to include that one. That was the greatest play I have ever seen in MLB The Show 20, at least this in this year's game. So in this next one, we have Ernie Banks up. I thought I crushed this ball, and this is pretty much all the action in this one. A nice double play to end the inning. We had a leadoff walk from Jackie Robinson, and uh, then the opponent, Right here, we're going up against Yannick, and uh, this guy's a good player. He's got a good team. He goes deep with his creative player, and we end up losing this game 1-0. This was pretty much the entire three-inning game right there. You just saw it. Hit into a double play, give up a solo shot, and we end up losing 1-0 in that one. But honestly, I had a ton of fun playing and trying out some of these brand new cards. I did put up Ernie Banks on the auction block. Not sure if he's going to sell, but I would be down to sell that card simply because I have a really good squad already. Thank you all for watching and peace out.